Uh, as you can see here, we are currently, let me update this. We're currently tracking the price of Beefy and you can see the node connection I have is very, very quick. It's scanning the price multiple times per second. And uh, you can see the price is 2.7483 BNB uh, per uh, Beefy. So a lot of people have asked tons of questions on this. This is gonna be a really quick video. If you want to use a spot limit swap to uh, snipe listings, there's only a couple things you're going to need to do. You're going to have to have it set up uh, properly using the, the wiki and the other tutorials we have. And before you do anything else, follow the security recommendations. Run out of EPS if you're able. It's worth the investment to keep everything you're doing with the spot separate. Make new wallets and uh, use new wallets with the spot so you're never putting your main accounts at risk, all right? So I've had a lot of people come in that are asking, well, are you using private keys, this, that? That's what we do to make trades quick. This is a program that I made for the community and that's how it works. If you don't, if you don't like that, that's fine. You don't need to use it. You can choose another software, but if you do want to use our bot, like just follow the security advice that we give you make new keys, use a VPS, keep everything isolated, don't download stuff on this, just, just have the bot on one machine like this. And you can see it works super good with dedicated internet and it's fast, fast, fast. All right, so now that you get the bot up setting and you, you kind of have your perimeters in there uh, and you've tested this, so test this on a normal token first. Don't just load this up and be like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to, you know, get in and out of new launches. You need to go test this on some normal pairs, make sure it's trading correctly, and um, make sure you have everything set up the way you like it. And, and kind of get a feel for how it works. Not big amounts, you get, you know, just a dollar or ten dollars, uh, or, you know, a, a few Satoshi's worth of, of BNB. But get a feel for how the program works so you know what you're doing, you know what I mean? And then after you get a feel for how Limit Swap works, you come in here to your tokens.json and you can keep this open just like this while you're running it. This is all you need, right? So all you need is your Limit Swap up and running. You can put it on any pair uh, or you can have it on nothing, you know what I mean? And then you're gonna need a, a test token. So I have a test token, I'll put it down in the, the description that you guys can use uh, for free. It's just a random test token I found on uh, BSC that someone else has made so not me just someone else made this but I'm gonna put it in here and this is an example of what would happen if uh, when, once you get set up so you're gonna want to put all your stuff in here you're gonna have to figure out what the launch price is I can't help you with that um, you need to kind of make your own calculations for what you want to buy at and what you want to sell at so the buy amount and base uh, is how many tokens worth of your base token you want to use in this case bnb so you're going to try to buy 0.01 bnb worth in your buy price you're going to have to calculate that launch price based off of what you can get from the team or how much liquidity they're added and you have to set this at the highest possible price you'd want to buy it so this is a protection for you and you're setting a limit order all right that's why we're called limit swaps so anything below this price is going to try to buy anything above it it'll ignore us if price is too high we're not going to buy this so the way i like to look at it is if you're trying to buy something on a launch you're going to say you know it's going to launch somewhere let's say 0 0.001 bb uh 0 0.001 bnb or we'll say 0 0.001 bnb that's your launch price and uh, you know maybe you're only willing to buy 10x, so you just remove a zero, right? That's all you would do. And then when that token launch, if you can get in between the launch price and that your maximum price that you're willing to get into, uh, you know that's what you got. Uh, you have slippage, moon bag, sell price. If you want to have it sell uh, after you buy, you can do that, or you can set it very high. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's it. Um, I might have to stop this because. It's not, oh, I think it just updated actually. So yeah, so so now this is the file saved automatically. Sorry guys, but so now uh, once you get all this set and you hit save, um, you're gonna see this. So now you see test, not listed for trade yet, test token. Uh, so you can update uh, your settings in real time. 
uh, as this goes, but you can see right now. So test token, not listed for trade yet. It's not looking for this token. It made sure it was approved and it, and it approved it already. And uh, now it's just going to wait. It's, it's waiting for liquidity to be added on PancakeSwap. You can see this is checking, it's checking, checking like super, super fast. And uh, it'll just continue to do that until liquidity has been added for that pair. And when it does, if it's in your perimeters, it'll try to buy.